Hello, hello to one of my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. This message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please only take messages that resonate. You will know intuitively, okay? Spirit, guys, universe, ancestors of the highest white light. Please give me clear and precise messages. Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Capricorns. So let's see. We have the three of swords. So someone could be going through some form of a breakup, okay? Or someone could be in a lot of pain. You could be taking time to heal, all right? Someone could be trying to hide the pain, numb the pain. They're trying to resist this pain that they're feeling or this pain that they're in, okay? Hmm. For others of you, you can be blocking someone that you don't trust. Yeah, full of pentacles. You could have released this person or let someone go. Or you finally chose to let something go. Okay, that was causing so much pain. So it could still be... I don't know why I heard some residuals. Some residue left. Okay, but you're getting through it. You're moving through it. So you can be doing a lot of cleansing right now. Okay, meditating. Hmm, yeah. You can be purging right now, like cleansing, crying. Or you could have done a lot of crying. Eight of swords. You feel like you can't get this pain out of your head. Why is this three swords here? I'm going to just use another deck. Why is this three swords here? <clears throat> Someone's been doing a lot of crying. I've, had, I've been crying from this pain and I just can't hide it. I just can't get over you. It's like I caught the flu. I'm sick of all these lies and these games. And I'm sick of being a reason we turn out this way. Somebody's saying they're trying to act like they don't want to see you. Like you was just a phase. They can forget you in a day. I'm trying to act like I don't want to be with you. Mm. Somebody trying to act like they can go without you or they can do without you, but they can't. It's really, like, affecting them. Okay? They never thought that they would have such emotions for you or just feel the way that they do for you. And the pain is really affecting them. Okay? Because this person knows that they hurt you or they cause some form of pain and they're in a lot of regret. Okay? So whatever love they've been trying to block out or avoid or resist, it's like they can't. Okay, this person could have been a little bit uh three 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 like cocky a little bit. They didn't want to like actually face that the love was there between the two of you or that the love that they had for you was there. Because it's all this uh trying to act like they can go without you. Why is this three of swords here? You had the knight of wands. So this person was just doing things to get by, to not think of you. To not have you on their mind. But the more and more they did that, it's like the more and more they, they get in their feelings. Five of Cups, the more they miss you, the more they want you, the more they long for you. Okay, and this person been trying to block it out. It's because of their ego. I don't know why I'm talking about this person and I'm tapping into this person's energy and I start to feel dizzy or like mentally like under a fucking trance or something. So it's, it's this person's thoughts. It's like they're trapping their head, okay, on the fact that the way that they was moving is what caused this block between y'all. So this person would have thought that you would have uh, unblocked them by now. 
But this person knows that you still have them blocked in the spiritually. Okay. It could be dawning on this person. Because you chose to let this person go. Full pinnacles in reverse. You just let the situation go. Why is, give, why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, the Three of Cups. And the Hermit. Mm -hmm. Knowing secretly that this person wanted to make amends. They wanted to make amends. But this person was hiding that from you. They was hiding the fact that they wanted to make a move towards you and make amends. But it was just too much pain from a previous situation is what held them back. Is what blocked them from taking what blocked them from taking this action to you. Towards you. Two of Wands in the Tower, yeah. So it's like they already chose to take action towards you. It was just so many obstacles in this person's way that was causing blockages. But the pain that this person had caused you has caused you, it always played in their mind. Because the more and more, even if this person was like engaging with other people or just with other people, it's like they always went into Herman mode. They always self-reflect. And this person probably thought to themselves, like, why am I even moving like this? Like, why am I continuing to do this when I know my heart is with someone else or with this per or with you, Capricorn? For others of you, you can have a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that miss you, okay? And this person is thinking about you every day, every night, all the time. I'm hearing that song by B-Fat. All I do is think of you. Day and night is all I do. I can't get you out my mind. Think about you all the time. Okay? Somebody, they think about you all the time. They think about you, baby. Day and night, baby. Uh -huh. Yeah, this person knew that they wasn't putting in the work. Whoever this person is that's thinking about you all the time, they the pinnacles. This person felt like that they wasn't giving enough to the situation. And they regret that. Whoever this Cancer Scorpio Pisces is. For others of you, you can have a Aries Leo Sagittarius that is blocked, okay? Or could be blocked from you. Take away it resonate. Okay. Okay. Why is the Hermit here? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Judgment. Yeah. This person knows that they're under judgment for the pain that they caused. Okay. It's like this person just wants to, like, get past it. So they do want to make amends. Okay. For others of you, this person could be avoiding you because they don't want to face you, but take you away and resonate. Okay. So they rather just ghost you. All right. Be mindful of this person saying that they want to make amends or to, um, yeah, to make amends, but they could be gaslighting you. So just, yeah, take precaution. Yeah, the world cup. All righty, we're going to keep it moving. Why is this four, pin four pinnacles in reverse? The six of swords, yeah. Some of you, you just let it go. You say it's just another little TKO. So y'all just was guided to move around, okay? Because you felt like nothing wasn't working out. That's why the Eight of Pentacles was in reverse. You just felt like things wasn't working out. Eight of Cups in reverse. But it's like two people could feel as though something isn't over with you, okay? One of them could be from your past, and one of them is from the present moment. We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, but you don't want to work. Look, let's see. Some of you guys, 
to keep it funky with you. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse? The Knight of Swords. I'm here. Can you just talk with that Knight of Swords? So somebody just wants you to hear them out. Okay, so they want you to stop blocking them out. Blocking out how they feel. Somebody really wants you to just listen. Okay. <laughs> somebody said, give me a chance. Damn, because what I heard was, I was about to say, how you going to want somebody to listen to what you're saying, but you're not talking? Somebody was like, just give me a chance. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Why is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Because somebody, okay, the reason why this person wants to want you to hear them out because they don't want it to be over because the world card did come out. Okay. This person, like I said, knew that they wasn't putting in the work, putting in the effort. Mm. Why is this will? Oh, that's the will of fortune. Why is the will of fortune here? Page of Pentacles. What's the will of fortune? The two of cups. The six of Pentacles. The four of wands. The ace of wands. And the chariot. Three of wands. So for others of you, you actually have your divine counterpart coming towards you. Okay. And that's this person that's wanting to take this journey with you. Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. This person could have been into hermit mode. So for others of you, whoever this person is that's over here, um, I'm hearing reminiscing on you from the past or whatever case may be. They want to talk. Hmm. So Capricorn, you're going to have a passionate new beginning with your twin flame. For some of you, it could be in the upcoming three weeks, three days, three months. Some of you guys could have been waiting on this person f from three years ago. Okay, or oh, others of you, you known your twin since three years. Take you at resonate, but somebody been waiting for three years for their person. That's a long time. Like literally. Also be care be okay. Also pay be mindful of sheep and wolves and sheep clothing is what I'm getting. Okay. People coming in disguising themselves is having interest for you. And they can have their own agenda. We got the sun card. So a lot of happiness, growth, prosperity, abundance coming towards you guys and around you guys is in your energy. Okay. A lot of you guys are just living your best life is what I'm getting. The eight of wands, a lot of traveling, a lot of communication back and forth. Okay. Definitely a lot of traveling in the near future. Okay. So prepare yourself for a lot of travel. Okay. But it is guided. And destined to happen because the will of fortune is out here. So some of you guys, you're going to be relocating. You're going to be embracing a new journey. For well, some of you, it's going to be with your person. For others of you, it's going to be by yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So you're on a journey of enlightenment. Okay. Where you step into the unknown, unknown and you embrace new opportunities. Okay? Know that you are limitless. 
any and everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. Period. What's this eight of wands? Who wants to talk to my Capricorn? Who wants to talk to my Capricorn? A Scorpio or a Pisces? So a Scorpio or a Pisces want to talk to you, Capricorn? Okay. Someone is definitely going through a transformation overnight. Something about a near-death experience. Okay. Someone could be doing a lot of... I don't know why I heard teleporting. Teleportation? Who teleported? Or somebody drinking teleport? I don't fuck it up. <laughs> um, it's, uh, somebody could be doing a lot of astral projecting and my ears start ringing. So you could be having your ears ring a lot at this time. Okay, that's your guides signaling you. Okay. I don't, who listening to that? I dropped bows on them. Cadillac, grill, Cadillac. Yeah, who listening to Ludacris? What y'all doing? Got the drop top? Okay, somebody got their top down low and they beat. I look. <laughs> I ain't like my top down low. Okay, somebody listening to Ludacris for real. All right. What's the death in the moon card? The Ace of Cups. Ooh. Somebody whipping up a secret potion for you. A, a, a cup of love. And this person is love. Look, they head is a cup. They head is the cup of, ooh. Y'all got some freaks on y'all hand, okay? Somebody want to put their face in that, that Goshen place, okay? <laughs> Somebody want to put their face where the sun going to shine. And I don't mean you're behind, okay? The <laughs> Why the fuck am I so funny, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We got the seven of swords. I'm telling you. Somebody want to be your sneaky link. Your sneaky link. Mm-mm. Ooh. Y'all got somebody that's like... This person, I just picked up on their energy. Like once they got you, or once they have you, or once y'all together and you and y'all establish a relationship, oh, you ain't going nowhere. Now this might be a Capricorn shit, but Capricorn energy ain't come out. The devil card ain't come out yet. But this person has energy that operates in that devil energy. Like you would think that this person is toxic, but they're not. And like, how can I explain it? Because it's like you're either toxic or you're not, right? But this person isn't toxic. They're just protective over what's mine. Oh, I said, see, I'm about to start talking like this person. They're protective over what's theirs. So, like, this person will put in the work and put in the effort. Even if any previous or past relationships you dealt with, they wasn't putting in the work and putting in the effort. This person will. And this person is not, like, the type of person that take things lightly to wisdom. Like, you say you're going to leave and walk away. All you say is over. Like, they're willing to work it out before you even get to that point. So this person could be like a peacemaker. Like someone that likes peace more than confrontation. They're not with all the drama, I would say. They'd rather communicate and, and, and like try to negotiate things before it get too hectic. For some of you, somebody could be doing moon magic on you. Or somebody could be doing shit with your car so be careful when you travel somebody could be doing magic on your car or some shit like that because the cherry the moon and the magician for some of you guys you feel like you've been stuck hanging upside down in the same place for so long like you've been somewhere for too long you're ready to go that's how that's the energy i'm getting okay
Like some of you guys, you're just like ready to explore different things. You're just ready to travel, meet new people. You're just ready to just be. You're ready to let the pain go. You're ready to let go whatever was holding you down, holding you hostage, making you feel bound. Yeah, you're just ready for new experiences. The Ten of Pentacles. So you're ready for good memories. Okay. Be mindful of people who, once again, coming in, stealing your good, loving energy. Okay. Why is this Seven of Swords here? Whoa, the Ten of Cups in reverse and it fell on the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Six of Cups, yeah. So you already know that people from your past is going to be pulling on your energy. They're still going to be lingering around. You already know that, okay? And for some of them, it's to really see or to know who you're about to be with, Okay? Like, it's a lot of people that's focused on your life, Capricorns, than their own life. Okay? Mm, somebody could have had a threesome or some shit last night, or somebody is into threesomes. Or somebody just loves to sleep around. They like one night stands. Okay? But this person knows how to hide that shit. Okay? Somebody sneaky as shit. I don't know. Or this could be past energy. This could have been the way that somebody used to be. Okay? They can still have those tendencies, but they just know how to hide it. And it's like every person that this person slept with or been with, it was like the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It, it was something wrong with their ass. Like, mm -mm. Judgment. Some of these women couldn't have, like, they probably didn't have no um personality or they didn't have no character about them. It was something wrong with these women that this person was picking up or they used to pick up. I don't fucking know who this is. And the shit used to be happening so fast. So, oh, uh, okay. So, for some of you, this person could have been the type of person that jumped into relationships quickly or moved too fast when it came to, like, when they first meet somebody because they went off for lust. So if the sex was good, the sex was great, automatically this person felt like that they was in love or they felt like it was love, but it was actually lust. So someone is learning the difference between love and lust. Okay? So this person falls in love very quickly. Very um, easily. Because they, they wear their heart on their sleeve. But you would look at this person and, this, and you would never even think or know that. Because this person come off as very attractive. They come off as the king of wands. They know that they can bag any female that they want, 23-23. So they use that to their advantage. Okay, for some form of control is what I mean. And it's like whatever this person was attracted to, they go after it. Okay? That's like any fire sign. That's what fire signs do. You're a fire sign. You pursue. You go after things you want. Yeah, this person could have been a little bit toxic in the past, but they're changing. Okay? They're growing. They can still have mood swings here and there. And can still, like, be stuck in their head or stuck in the moment for a second. Like, they could just get caught up into what things used to be that it's hard for them to see what's going on now around them. Or it's hard for them to stay in the present moment because this person always go back to the past. Yeah, is this emperor? Damn, I'm picking up this person energy fast. The king is full. This person could have had like a lying energy to them. Like they was a liar or something like that. This person is working on that too. It was a lot of stuff that this person had to work on within they self. Okay, nobody is perfect. You feel me? Okay. This person is actually a loving, caring person. They have a good heart about them. I guess it's just... The people that they hung around or the people that they affiliated themselves with, like, they felt as though that they had to, like, restructure their image to fit in or something like that. 
Let's see. King of Swords. What's this King of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Four of Swords. I'm telling you, this person used to lie a lot, but they're putting that shit to an end, too. They changing that. Four of Swords. Because we're lying all the time is we get you caught up and shit. And this person is learning the difference about that, too. Telling the truth will set you free. This person doing a 360. Who is this? This y'all person, Capricorn? Okay? This man, like, don't play with him. This man is like, do not play with me. He like, I am a man. Okay? This person is, like, growing up. Like, they're trained, like, this person could have already been, like, mature, but they still had, like, a little bit when it came to, like, their ways, like, just the lying and other women and stuff like that. Okay. This person could have been a little bit tricky. This person is balancing out their light and their dark energy in them. <coughs> their, uh, yeah, light and dark energies. So this person is um, balancing out, learning duality. They're balancing it out. Balancing it out. Why well, I can't get that word? What's going on? Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to see what else I can get. Yeah, someone wants to make a lot of new memories. They just want to start fresh. They just want to leave whatever it is that's been keeping them stuck for so long in the past. Like, And the only way this person feel like they can do that is if they start over, start new. But they know that first and foremost, they got to be truthful and honest with themselves on what it is that they're um, expecting out of their self first and foremost because this person can expect things from you and you can expect things from your person but they got to expect them things for the front for the that 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 for they self first like if this person is saying okay i'm gonna stop doing this this then the third this person has to stand on it okay like, it's easy said and done, but it does take time when, when healing is involved. That's the only way you're going to heal from any past traumas from when you were a child. Like, from sex abuse and um, molestation, rape, and the list goes on and on, okay? We're not going to get too deep into that, but you know, okay? That's why, if like, most people... When they've been traumatized due to sex, whether it's with a relationship, like somebody was using sex as a weapon for abuse, like, oh, I only give it to you when I want to type shit or when I feel good about myself, but they fucking everybody else in the neighborhood and shit like that, like Mr. Rogers and shit or whatever the case may be. It's like, it make you fall into those unhealthy patterns to want to just sleep around and let any and everybody into your... um energy which is your sacred space so if you're not treating your your temple sacredly with some form of respect then no one else is going to do that right so it's like it starts with you first like if you respect your body then other people is going to respect your body so it's going to be harder for people to penetrate you sexually because they can't get to you mentally you get what i'm saying it's all a mental thing so if i can if i can penetrate you if I, like, okay, how can I say this? When you are very low vibrational, you have low vibrational energies that you operate out of. You have to really know what you're doing, okay? Because you can get your ass burnt by playing too much in them waters, okay? Because if you realize every moon car is water in it, because it's like, don't go deep up in them waters. It's like that song called that Black Mate. It's called, um, my, when he was like, my mom always told me about that water. That's why I don't never put my feet in. And that's the same thing. So if you're very lustful and it's like you just lustful, like you just want to have sex, that's what you're going to. I can't explain it, y'all. Like, it's just, 
try not to put your attention, your thoughts, and your mind in such of a low frequency, okay? Because you're hurt, because you're trying to numb the pain, because you're trying to, like, not think of why you're hurt or why you're feeling these emotions, so you try to run to sex or you try to run to drugs to, like, get get it out of your system, it's going to still be there. Because that shit you have to work on, excuse my language, you have to work on that internally. Like, those are things you have to internally work on. Running to external vices is not going to do nothing but cause, it's a cause and an effect. It's just going to affect it even more. And then you wonder why you out here on a rampage fucking everything moving because you didn't get to the problem before it spread it. You know what I'm saying? It's like wildfire. Once you keep on adding to it, it's going to spread. It's not, you're not putting it out. Okay? And then on top of that, you're a fire sign. Or you could be a water sign. So when you mix fire and water together and it's uncontrollably, it can spread a fire. Like, it could be wild. That's why they own, like, how can I explain this, y'all? Because I'm about to get into some scientific shit. Yeah, damn. I'm not trying to do this, spirit. Y'all trying to get me back into this shit. Like a fucking nerd. I told y'all I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> but for real, like, you just got to control your vices, okay? If you're going to work out of passion and water, know how to control that water and that fire within you. Because you can spread something that's uncontrollably and it's going to be only... It's going to get worse before it gets better because you're going to be the one that's going to have to really do some long, long term, like some long internal soul searching to stop it. Okay. Because only you can stop it. That's why they say only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> I had to make some fun out of it, y'all. That's why they were like, only you, only you can prevent forest fires and shit like this. Like Smokey the Bear or whatever the case may be. All right. Yeah, just get to it before it gets worse. You get what I'm saying? That's why I say somebody's actually taking time to like change and do the work and reassess why they are the way they are. Like, especially over here, we accept you for whatever it is you're doing or who you are. Like, we're going to talk about those issues and problems because everybody has issues and everybody has problems. But sometimes people, more people are afraid to talk about those issues and problems because some people are very judgmental. And it's like, you could give your opinion, but don't try to like, how can I explain this, y'all? Like, give your opinion, but make it to where so this person still see the brighter side of it. You get what I'm saying? Because it's always good and bad to everything. You see how I just explained this whole thing to y'all? Like, basically, when it comes down to sex and how you ooh, operate in that sexual energy, because that's... Uh, that's that Lilith energy. You're working out of your Lilith energy when it comes to sex. That's the dark nature of the femininity. So when you operate out of that dark, lustful energy of Lilith, you wonder why you start attracting things to you in an unhealthy way. All right? Did that make sense? I hope so. We're going to get some more messages, y'all. Let me just clear this up. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to get into this King of Cups emotions. Let's see. Let's see what your person, per, I said your person, your person emotions are towards you. Okay. So this was your person in their lustful nature. Okay. Being the hunter. Being the, I said the hunter. Being the hunter. <coughs> so your person used to be on a wild hunt for women or men. Take away a resume, Capricorn. So they did have a very low vibrational energy or entity attached to them. And now they don't anymore. Four pentacles. That could be why they're four pentacles with us. Because whatever this person uh unhealthy attachment was, they let it go. Okay, so let's see. King of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Queen of Swords. King of Wands. I like this because what I heard with this Queen of Swords, King of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles is this person respects you because you see them for them. That's why I say your person is your person got to be a fire sign, Capricorn, or they got to be a water sign, or they might have that heavy in their charts because 
as this queen of swords is right here it's like this king of wands came out and it's like you still see this person as them like you don't look at them no differently you just see them for who they are flaws and all and that's why they respect you so much as this queen of swords i fuss with that i like that and this person likes how you can maturely explain who they like how they became that way or why they drifted off into that space or energy y'all person must be like uh how can i say this i'm not gonna say professional but someone like proper like they have like proper grammar or english to them like i can't explain it y'all because you know how I got some good, I said some good, some hood, <laughs> a little bit of gutter, a little bit of ratchet, okay? And I might hit you with the hatchet, but I, <laughs> it's like, no, nah, y'all, but for real, y'all know how I am. Like, my little shit a little bit, like a gutter baby or some shit like that. But I do, I am very smart now and intelligent. It's just my, the only way I can express my intelligence is hood. It's through hood, hood language. Get that hood talk. You feel me? Hood talk TV. Hood talk 101. Let's get it. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Who is this Queen of Pentacles looking mad and shit like that? Behind this King of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody that they've been with for a long time. Somebody mad as shit. Who is this? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Feminine. Because this King of Wands is staring at this Queen of Swords. You could be this Queen of Swords. Somebody that they know that don't take no shit and you a real ass bitch. Hello. Yeah, six of wands. This person attention is on you. <laughs> this person is a, attention is on you, bro. <coughs> and it, excuse me. What is this Queen of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the two of Pentacles. Somebody that they juggled you for. Hmm. For others of you, this could have been why they were stuck. Okay. Okay, we ain't about to keep getting into this Queen of Pentacles. She just gonna be over there in the corner looking mad, sad, and looking stupid. Give me more on this King of Wands. Six of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, I told you. This person is changing their ways. If this person was being a player or they was like sleeping around or they was doing whatever they was doing for attention, this person is changing it. They're getting out of that lustful energy. So this person was like, if they attracted to you or they find some form of attractiveness to you, it could be anything. They just get hard and they sleep and they down with you. Mm -mm. That's probably how this person gets to be, I guess. Like, it could be anything. If anything can, like, turn them on or attract them, that's how this person was. Like, anything. But it's like, now this person is looking at it like their emotions have to be involved. King of Cups. And it was like, if there's no emotions there, it's like, what am I doing this for again? Like, somebody feels as though it has to be chemistry there. Like... You have to relate to them. It has to be relatable. Like, y'all have to almost have the same ambition or almost the same drive. It's something about, like, how can I say this? I It's something about the drive or the ambition or something like that. Because I guess this person, you have to be the type of person that this person is going to lead you because that's what they are. Like when they're in that King of Wands energy, Queen of Wands energy, you are a leader. So this person is like, okay, I don't want to have to lead you all the time. I have to know that you ha you can handle your own or some shit like that. So if this person was to leave and go to work or some shit like that, they would know that you're not out here sleeping and cheating and fucking around. Okay. So this person might put you through like small little test or some shit like that but it's like minor it's nothing too big too major it's just a like a loyalty test or some shit like that page of pentacles i'm not even gonna take these why is this knight of wands in reverse 
Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they they got a, a tight grip on that now. Whatever that energy was that had them very lustful, that was out of control, they got a tight grip on that. Four of Pentacles. They got that shit on lock. And then we got the lovers and the eight of pentacles. I'm telling you, this person is like looking at it differently now. Like you have to be solely connected to this person. Or they have to have like, they have to feel like a spiritual connection or a solely deep soul connection with you in order to like fuck with you. Yeah, we got the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. 